and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Autumn. I am mama to two little girls, two and four, and I'm also a former elementary teacher. I'm now home with my girls and I just document the things we do, whether that be travel or the educational games that I play with them or homeschool journey. So I have a blog as well as this YouTube channel that I do most of my documenting on. If you're not following along on Instagram though, make sure you follow along there. I'm definitely more active in stories than I am on actual posts. I did a diaper bag video when my girls were baby and toddler age and I absolutely loved that diaper bag. I loved it so much I actually bought it in a second color. This is the Maiden Carry-All Tote and again I love this bag. I just don't use it as much anymore now that my girls are older so now I have a toddler and a preschooler and this bag I like if we're going somewhere where I just really need to pack a ton of things in it. If you're interested in learning more about this bag I will make sure to link the video I did you can fit so much in this bag and it's still comfortable. It's still really pretty and cute. My old bag was an older version of it. So there are new things on this bag. I don't remember what the differences are, but I will link the website so you can check it out. This is not sponsored at all. I just absolutely love this brand. This is the bag that I use every day. It is a backpack and I pack this thing. I am constantly amazed at how many things that I fit in this bag. These bags aren't even advertised really as diaper bags, but they work so well as diaper bags. And then they also work great as just regular bags. Even when I'm just running out without the girls, I will gravitate toward this bag. I have a few things that I don't always keep in this bag that I made sure to have in the video just so that you can see how much this bag fits. So right now I still have space in the top of this bag, so I could still fill it more in this section and that means that if I was still to put snacks in this bag I would still have space for that I only have one cup on this side but I could fit another cup on this side this is what I'm talking about when I say I can really pack this bag so I will get into what is already in here considering how much room I still have I'm gonna start with this front zipper pocket as you can see I have it fairly packed but I still could fit a few more things in here I have two different types of hand sanitizer in here one just a regular gel and this one is a spray. I have this little kit. I think I talked about this in my prepping for Disney video. This kit already came with a few things and we've gone through it fairly well, but it's so easy to put more things in. So I've got band-aids and different ointments, that kind of stuff is in here. At one point I also put like a few ibuprofen in here. This is a Welly First Aid on the Go kit and I absolutely love it. It's small and compact and I can just keep updating what needs to be in here. The last thing in the front pocket is just some lotion. I'm gonna mention this pocket next because it's just really easy to forget about it. It's a little pocket at the top. You couldn't fit too much in it. Normally what I would put in here is my Pixel Buds or if you have AirPods, like something like that fits perfectly in here. I mentioned that it has two side pockets for water bottles or whatever you wanna put in. Sometimes I just put my phone in here if I don't have a water bottle to put in. It zips up and I find that when it's zipped, my phone fits really snugly in this space. There are two pockets on the back. One is this zipper pocket here and then there is this pocket right here as well. This back zipper pocket is just where I keep our masks. So I just have our masks in this pocket. It's just an easy place to put those, zip it up. I know they're there. This open back pocket has the disposable placemats as well as a waterproof bag. I definitely talked about these in my previous video, but these are amazing. I bought a bunch of them when Alani was little and I still have some of them. You just peel off the back kind of like a sticker and the edges stick to the table. It's something you can put down if your kid is still eating from the table. There are a few different brands that have similar things. I haven't found this brand in a while, but what I loved is they have the alphabet and they have numbers. So we would even just have a way of entertaining Alani or Emmy when we were sitting at the table because it was just a cute, bright, colorful placemat with some educational things on it as well. This is the waterproof bag that came with my Mockingbird stroller. I just keep this in here just in case. Sometimes things get wet. We're really kind of past the age of Alani having accidents, but I have no problem with being prepared and it's not always accidents that cause kids to get wet They could spill a drink or anything like that 
And we are, I guess, approaching an age where Emmy will start potty training. We'll see about that one. So I guess I'm gonna be going back through this all over again. That is all of the outside pockets. So now I'm just gonna go on the inside of this bag. So if I fold this front part down, you can still see how much space that I truly have in this bag. And I have a lot in here. Let's start with my computer. So I recently got a MacBook and my MacBook does not fit as well in here. I can get it in here, but it is very snug. My Surface Pro fits amazingly in this bag. I used to carry it in this bag a lot, but I've been working more from my MacBook. So I don't really carry it as much, but I just wanted to show how nicely this fits in this bag with all of the other stuff that I still have in here. Another thing I have in this bag is this wallet, same company. They recently did a sale where you got a wallet when you purchased a bag. So I ended up buying their crossbody, which means I have four of their bags and a wallet. I truly do love this company. They are such well-made products and I love this wallet. I'm glad I upgraded from the little one that I had before to this. And once I pull out everything from this bag, I will show you the pockets that are on the inside, but it's a little hard to show with the different things that I have in it. But I have my sunglasses in one of the pockets and I still have a free pocket. So that would be where I would put the girl's sunglasses or anything else that I needed. This cute bag is actually from one of my Ola Amigo boxes. If you are looking for fun Spanish instruction for a toddler, preschooler, or even an older kid, definitely check out Ola Amigo. I did a video on their Spanish boxes. We haven't gotten too many because they are pricey, but every once in a while you can buy a discounted box and that's generally the way I go, but their stuff is amazing. And I think the subscription is definitely worth it if that's within your budget. I do not have Spanish things in this bag though. I have change of clothes for the girls. Normally I use a different type of zipper bag, which I will link below but I ran out of the size that I wanted in those bags and I didn't feel like buying an entire pack of them. So this bag works perfectly. I've said it before, I always save like little bags and containers because there's always another way to use them. This is not something that is always in my bag. This is more of a keep in the car thing, but I just wanted to show how much you could put in here. And if I am going somewhere with the girls where I can't run back to my car real quick if I needed a change of clothes, then yes, this is going in this bag and it fits great. The other thing that I have in this bag is diapers and wipes. I normally use a reusable wipes pouch, but the one that we had broke after like four years of using it. And one time we were in a bind, so I ended up grabbing this, but generally, I buy a refill box of Huggies wipes and I put it in our reusable wipes pouch. I know that everyone has their preference, but I really prefer Huggies to Pampers. Another thing that is always in this bag are my keys. Obviously they easily fit. And then in this back zipper pocket, I keep feminine products, Clorox wipes and a pen. Okay, so I'll show you the pockets that are inside this bag now. In the back is this zipper pocket here. And then there is this pocket that's open that goes the full length of the bag. On top of that, there are two divided pockets right here on the sides. It has insulated pockets. So one on each side, even though these are insulated pockets, I normally end up just putting my girls water bottles on the outside because they're just always asking for them at random times. And it's easier to just have them outside of the bag. Similar to the pockets back here, it then has these pockets in the front and then all of this space in the bottom of the bag. And then it has just this nice rounding at the top. So I feel like even when this is packed, you can just keep putting stuff in. Here is another look at the bag with everything back in it. So as you can see, I have plenty of room here and I still have plenty of room in the front, even with this computer in. Without my computer, there is a ton of space still in this bag. That is gonna conclude this video. I think it is fairly obvious why I love this brand, why I love these bags. Such great quality products, such a sweet company to communicate with, and the bags fit so many things, have so many hidden pockets. They're clearly made by a mother. I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure to check the description for the link to these bags. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.